The Jeep Grand Cherokee is back in India and in this fifth generation guys, it continues to offer that tough outdoorsy feel that you expect of a Jeep wrapped up in all the trappings of a luxury SUV. But as we will see in this walk around, things have moved on quite a bit from there. Now this new Grand Cherokee carries the typical Jeep family face. So you have that slim LED headlamp, those big deep set seven slot grille with the wide sort of air dam. But it's also functional. For example, there has been thought given to approach angles. As you can see how this car is placed here. So the bumper is not too extended forward. So there's still good approach angle. So that functional but stylish design theme carries over to the side as well. And yes, you do have this quite attractive deep pillar design. But if you look at the glass area, it's large, the belt line is low, so visibility is not going to be so much of an issue, hopefully. And there's more functionality in the form of ground clearance, there's 215 mm of it. The water weighting depth is 533 mm, again, a good figure. And you also get these quite nice looking 20 inch wheels as standard. Now we brought you to another car, one we can actually open and show you what the Grand Cherokee is like from the inside. To start with, we'll show you the boot. You have a powered tailgate and the large boot space. Now, the international model has over 1000 litres, but of course, that's not true for the India spec car because it has a large spare wheel. It's not full size, still 18 inches, but of smaller dimension. So, it's still a space saver, but just not of the full size. Again, you have large, a flat surface over here, so you can put in big stuff. This shade, again, very useful and this is how you close it. Now step inside the Grand Cherokee and it really is quite impressive, exactly what you would expect from a large luxury SUV. To start with the design, so you have this layered sort of look to it where this wood, again a very nice feeling wood veneer meets the leather surfaces. It is really, really nice stitching, it's very modern, you know, taut kind of design to the whole place. The start stop button, the way it's placed and so on. So it's a really striking, really crisp place to spend time in. Now, if you like your screens, then the Grand Cherokee well and truly has you covered. To start with, you have a 10.25 inch instrument cluster, a large 10 inch head up display, which is again fully color, gives you a lot of information clearly in front of you. You have this 10.1 inch screen, again, quite similar to the compass. But again, that's not a bad thing at all because of how useful that screen anyway is to begin with. But here's the real highlight. The passenger 2 gets a 10.25 inch screen where you can watch videos. The passenger can watch your video. But if you're seated here as a driver, there's a film over it. So the driver will never really be distracted by it. Anyway, it's got quite a low brightness. So it's not too distracting in any circumstance. But if you're the driver, you can barely see it. And the passenger can go about his business doing whatever he wants on that screen. Now, in terms of how the cabin is built, yes, in terms of outright fit and finish and quality, maybe it's not up to spec with German rivals, but everything you touch, for example, the soft materials pretty much everywhere, everything is designed very well. All the switches have that typical tough hardwearing feel that you expect from a Jeep. That's all there, so that's nothing to worry about. And then you have that massive list of features. So you get, of course, a panoramic sunroof, you get four zone climate control, you get heated and cooled seats, you get a heated steering wheel, you get fully powered seats, a head up display like we just mentioned. So in terms of features, there's really nothing to hold the Grand Cherokee back. Now the Grand Cherokee goes a step further and aside from the ADAS and the whole host of safety features that we'll talk about, you also get this screen again for the rear camera. So looking out, visibility, rearward, say when you're off-roading or the camera is dirty, is not going to be a problem at all. You see this, that's the sensor for the ADAS, which is really one of the big highlights of the Grand Cherokee. So you have the full suite of level two ADAS functions. Of course, over and above that, you get a decent list of passive safety features. You get eight airbags, you get TPMS, the mirror that we just showed you on the inside, and you get 360 degree cameras as well. Now, of course, if you bought something like the Grand Cherokee, the rear seat is going to be very important to you. And if, of course, you have these large Alpine speakers as an Alpine audio system. The panoramic sunroof helps you with that sense of airiness, the sense of 
space that you so want in a car like this so that's of course there you have a high floor so getting in is maybe slightly difficult and you slightly sit in an ease up position but aside from that you have this uh, center armrest you can recline this seat to a very comfortable angle a good view out you have this rear sunshade so even in the back seat the grand cherokee is a comfortable spacious car to spend time in maybe not as much as some rivals but for four people and at times a fifth adult considering you have a hump here the grand cherokee is really going to be a comfortable car in the city or even on longer road trips now with the jeep grand cherokee you get a single engine option it's a 2 liter turbo petrol but it makes a fairly potent 272 ps and 400 newton meters and it mates to the 8 speed zf auto box now you get a 4x4 system which will send up to 100% of the torque either to the front or the rear axle or it can even do it side to side and does it automatically through that select terrain those terrain modes that we showed you inside so it does that too as well so in terms of off roading capability it's also quite good as you would expect a jeep to be now the jeep grand cherokee is priced at to be 77.5 lakh that undercuts traditional luxury SUVs like the Mercedes GLE but remember you get a whole load of tech like ADAS a long list of features that jeep capability and a nice turbo petrol engine so with all that said we think the jeep grand cherokee really has a good shot at making an impact in this luxury SUV segment